Congratulations on your acceptance to the University of Maryland. We are excited to have you join the neuroscience program. The purpose of this video is to introduce the neuroscience major and let you know a little bit more about our program. During this presentation, you will learn about neuroscience at UMD. We encourage you to explore our website, neur.umd.edu for more information regarding our degree requirements, sample graduation plans, and opportunities available to neuroscience majors. The nervous system is an amazing complex machine that allows humans and animals to interact with their world. Neuroscience is the study of how the nervous system allows humans and animals to interact with their world. Neuroscience is interdisciplinary with neuroscientists using tools from multiple fields such as molecular and cellular biology, genetics, behavioral observation, clinical and social psychology, philosophy, physics, engineering, and chemistry in order to study neural systems function. Although the undergraduate major is new, neuroscience has been a part of UMD since 1996 when the graduate program in neuroscience and cognitive science began. Additionally, an undergraduate minor in neuroscience was established in 2006. Neuroscientists across campus already work together on graduate training and research initiatives. The neuroscience major launched in fall 2020. It is jointly offered by two departments, psychology and biology, that already have established neuroscience faculty. As a joint program, you have access to the best neuroscience courses, faculty, and research from both departments and across campus. The neuroscience major prepares students for a broad range of career paths, including scientific research, medicine, clinical psychology, and allied health professions. Students also pursue science-related employment in government, nonprofit, and private sectors. Students will have access to resources through both the psychology and biology departments, including career and internship fairs, as well as the University Career Center. We are also working to provide unique opportunities specifically for neuroscience majors, such as career panels and guest speakers. As previously mentioned, students have access to ongoing research at the university and may work with faculty and other principal investigators as undergraduate research assistants. Students conducting neuroscience related research may count academic credit towards the neuroscience major requirements. Students interested in getting involved with research may meet with our research coordinator to learn about current opportunities and for tips around reaching out to principal investigators. Additionally, students interested in earning departmental honors will be required to complete on-campus research. As a neuroscience major, you get to choose which courses meet your interests. You start off as a generic neuroscience major, but will later choose between the molecular, cellular, and physiological track or the behavioral and cognitive track. Courses in the molecular, cellular, and physiological track focus more on the cellular and molecular basis for neural system function. Students pursuing the pre-med pathway will typically declare this track as it is aligned with medical school requirements. Students who express more interest in cognitive and behavior research would likely declare the behavioral and cognitive track. This track is a great foundation for PsyD programs. Both tracks prepare students for careers in research and industry. I would also like to point out that we do have students completing the behavioral cognitive track and pre-med coursework. Our program offers a lot of choice and flexibility, which can also help students add a second major or minor. All students will complete the same gateway and supporting courses, totaling in 47 credits to include biological sciences, chemistry, math, physics, psychology, and statistics, as well as 12 credits of neuroscience coursework and a minimum of five advanced track courses of their choice. This is an interdisciplinary program, and one of the benefits of being a NER major is that you have access to courses in other departments that may otherwise be restricted to students within those programs. Students in the neuroscience major complete a mandatory advising requirement every semester. These advising appointments serve as consistent touch points throughout your undergraduate experience. Our advising office takes a holistic advising approach. Although our priority is to help you achieve academic success and graduate from our major, we encourage you to meet with us to discuss research, academic, and career interests, 
extracurricular involvement, as well as personal successes and challenges. We are here to support you. Here is a quick snapshot of our neuroscience team. Our faculty and staff will be here to support you throughout your entire undergraduate experience. Neuroscience is a limited enrollment program, which means we have a few extra steps to declare the major if you were not directly admitted into the neuroscience major as a freshman or transfer student. Once you are a student at UMD, you can change your major or add neuroscience as a second major after completing a series of gateway courses and maintaining a cumulative 2.7 GPA or higher. Applications will be open twice a year in January and June. Please refer to the lep.umd.edu website for the application and to learn more about other important LEP admission policies. During the first four semesters, students will primarily be completing their gateway and supporting courses, as well as general education requirements. Credit you've earned from AP or IB exams, as well as transfer credit from another institution are known as prior learning credits. Students who transfer into UMD as a neuroscience major will have already satisfied their gateway courses and freshmen with prior learning credit may have completed some of these courses. In general, we recommend that students do not take more than two lab courses a semester and balance STEM courses with non-STEM courses, such as gen eds or electives. If you are considering a health profession, you should consult the sample pre-med graduation plan on our website. We want to highlight that in the fall semester, we offer specific UNIV 100 sections for neuroscience freshmen that are taught by neuroscience advisors. We encourage all freshmen to register for one of these sections as it is a great opportunity to foster relationships with other neuroscience freshmen and your academic advisor. Thank you so much for joining our presentation. We look forward to working with you. If you have any questions, please refer to our website or email us at neuroadvising at umd.edu.